Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson again, and we are going to continue our studies, and this time we are talking about transformation notation for translations. Transformation is the movement of a geometric figure from one position to another. Translations, they move or slide the figure from one place to another place. The translation notation is T for translation, H, K, and whatever the F figure we're talking about, or coordinate, is going to be equal to the new uh, image that we're talking about, F prime. So H is the number of units moved horizontally on our x-axis, and K is the number of units moved vertically up and down on our y-axis. So here we have T, H, K, and here's our coordinate X, Y, the X is either going to be increased or decreased by a certain amount of numbers or units, and the Y is going to be increased or decreased by a certain number as well. So that way it slides around the grid. So here's our first question. Figure HJKL will be translated eight units right and four units down to make the figure M N O P. So let's move the translation. So here's our figure right here. We want to translate it eight units to the right. So if we look at J, we're going to move it over eight boxes or eight units. So let's count it over. So let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we moved eight units to the right. Now we have to move four units down to make our new figure. So let's move four units down, Stay, staying at that spot. So we're going to go down. One, two, three, and four. So here is now our new figure, which is MNNOP. So that's what it's going to look like. It translated over from this spot, over 8, and down 4. So that's what it looks like when we translate. So notice it's the same figure, but it only has been sliding over and down. So that's what a translation is. It's a slide. So here's one for you. Graph the translation, 3 units to the left, and 9 units down. Down. So name the coordinate of point x prime. So here's point x. So we need to move that three units to the left. So you'll take it and move it over three spaces to the left and nine units down, and then you'll get point x prime. So that'll be whatever that is. So you move it over, and we'll discuss what it is in class. So hopefully you'll find it. Check your understanding so far. See if you uh, have it. If you don't, write down your questions. Bring them in the class. I'll be glad to answer them. So watch the video if you need to. Now let's talk about the rule. Write a rule to describe the translation from figure P to its image Q. So figure P is way down here. And it moved up and over to figure Q over there. So remember, our translation is going to be how many coordinates did the x adjust? So let's see how many units did the x adjust. So I noticed it moved to the right, so that's going to be adding. So how many did it move over to the right? So let's grab it and move it over, match it up. So let's see if I can grab it. One, two. So now it's right underneath Q. So it moved over two. So it, so the X got plus two. Now let's see the Y. What happened to the Y? So it moved up. So that means it moved up. So that's a plus also.
right? So let's grab it and move it up now. See how many boxes. So let's count up how many boxes it goes up. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it went up seven boxes in the Y coordinate. So Y units are up. So that's positive seven. So our transformation would be two, seven. So it went up two, it went over to the right two, and then went up seven to get to from point P to point Q. So that's our rectangle. So that's our transformation notation. So T two comma seven, two to the right and seven up for uh, P, which was our first rectangle to give us our new image Q. So that's how we would write the notation. Okay, let's sketch an image of the figure after the translation. Okay, this time they give you the translation, the, the translation notation. So you have x and y, and x is going to be minusing 3, and y is going to be plus 1. So you're going to have to sketch the image, so that means you'll have to draw it yourself, or if you're like me, you can move it over so many boxes. So x is going to be minus 3. So if it's minus, that means you're going to the left. If it's plus, you're going to the right. So you're going to move over to the left three boxes. So move this over to the left, three boxes, and up one. So one, two, three, and up one. And that's what the new image will look like. So that's our translation. So I hope you got something out of this video. Check your understanding. See if you understand it. If you don't, will you watch the video? Write down your questions. I'll be glad to answer them in class. So this is Dr. Robinson signing off. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.